الوزر كله والإثم كله على المشيخات الذين هيجوا في هذه الحرب وهذه وهذه الوقيعة وهذا الدم وهذا الخزي الإثم كله والوزر عليهم رأينا الثكالة والنساء والأطفال الذين باتوا ويفيقون على الجوع ورأينا أولئك الأشياخ وهم يطيرون إلى لندن وإلى تركيا طاعمين ناعمين في الفنادق وفي القصور قالوا للناس اذهبوا إلى الحرب وإلى الجهاد المقدس يحمل وزر هذا اتحاد العلماء الذي جعل الحرب وجعل قبلة الحرب في الشام many oppressive laws on women. So I think the caliphate is also for non-Muslims and I hope the caliphate expands to encompass the entire world. Uh, and a very sort of uh, rigid interpretation of Sharia law which many scholars would dispute, dispute in terms of I don't uh, think so. I think uh, punishments and uh, I think what we're witnessing amputations. Around, no, I mean, I think Islam is the fastest growing religion in the West. I think what we're witnessing now is a lot of support for Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and uh, the Islamic uh, State. Uh, uh, well, well, I mean, well, is, well, is, where excuse me, but you yeah. say you say that I'm they're up, you up, say that they're implementing two thousand have gone. You, you, yeah, you that. say that they're implementing. You say that they're implementing Islamic law. Oh. Tell me how machine gunning people who are not armed is implementing Islamic law because we have seen videos mm -hmm. of them going around in cars with Don't machine guns, answer that, so. machine gunning people. According to Islamic law, if you're the American, no, no, no. We have we have sources of people, um, Islamic State's own videos of them going around in cars, machine gunning unarmed people. Okay. That has how no precedent well, in Islamic how, how law. Do you, how do you defend that? that? Uh, well, I'd say, look, there is a war taking place between. In the name of Allah and supported by the Quran, chant the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. In a one-hour documentary, ISIS explained their world. It is a world of horror, and one that they display brazenly. The professional video starts in Fallujah, only 50 kilometers away from the gates of Baghdad. Here, where 10 years ago America fought a bloody battle, masked men with black flags now dominate the streets. When these fighters attack, they don't take prisoners. This assault on an Iraqi military base is documented by their cameras, showing their atrocities in detail. The ISIS video grants anonymity to the offenders, but exhibits victims without mercy. This member of the local government is recorded in the jihadist search list. He will be executed on the spot. Such activities are meticulously recorded in an ISIS annual report, 400 pages long. 7,681 times ISIS attacked in 2013. From suicide bombs to sniper shots, everything is noted. And uh, it, it's 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 all it's all it's all a setup. Um, and when you have Saudi Arabia and Qatar, who are 51st states of the United States, there are, there are many of those, mind, uh, funding this ISIS and funding this terrorism, while the Americans, who could tell them to stop any time, are saying, uh, are, are, are condemning the very terrorism that their 51st states are supporting, well, the picture's so bloody obvious. It's a setup, and, and it's a setup to um, attempt to trigger World War III. Yeah. Right. And, and if we turn then now to the oil infrastructure that's on the ground there, you know, oil prices actually have been quite low. They do not reflect the turmoil. Do you believe then that Iraq is able to safeguard mo most of its um, oil infrastructure and that it can be kept out of the hands of ISIS? Well, most of the oil infrastructure are predominantly uh, uh, situated in, 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 the, in the south of the country. Uh, but uh, ISIS uh, tactics is very much creating as much havoc and, 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 uh, and disturbances uh, inside the country to uh, play uh, the media, uh, the international media. We've seen the, the, the international media reacted positively to, uh, towards the, um, the Mosul uh, Dam takeover by the Peshmerga and the Iraqi army. Uh, we uh, we saw the the Brent uh, oil prices uh, dropped, so as the uh, West Texas intermediates 
Uh, but having said that, uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the infrastructure, um, yes, they could be affected, but not uh, in terms of like producing field. The producing field are very much in the south. They are very safe and they produce uh, at least 90 percent of Iraq oil. Uh, from Basra. So in the, sh uh, in the uh, short to midterm, I see no threats uh, to that. But uh, um, the, uh, the operation needs to be sustained to prevent the return of ISIS to the dam. We saw the uh, track record of ISIS in terms of like open opening the gates of the uh, Fallujah dam and creating uh, um, uh, some uh, havocs in, in, the, in the central part of Iraq. And we don't, but uh, the Mosul dam is at a, a larger scale. And this is uh, 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 something that Iraqis and the international forces really need to work together to avoid any further catastrophes. Yeah, and we hear your point. ISIS will come back. They will not go down without a further fight on the front lines there uh, of the Mosul Dam. Thanks so much for your insights this morning. We Thank appreciate you for it. having me. I remember the road warrior, the man we called Max. To understand who he was, you have to go back to another time when the world was powered by the black fuel and the desert sprouted great cities of pipe and steel. Gone now, swept away. For reasons long forgotten, two mighty warrior tribes went to war and touched off a blaze which engulfed them all. Without fuel, they were nothing. They'd built a house of straw. The thundering machine sputtered and stop. Their leaders talked and talked and talked. But nothing could stem the avalanche. Their world crumbled. Cities exploded. A whirlwind of looting. A firestorm of fear. Men began to feed on men. On the roads, it was a white line nightmare. Only those... The Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Whether they will achieve their goals is uncertain. In their attempts, however, ISIS are set to bring chaos to the whole region. Introduce a little anarchy upset the established order and everything becomes chaos. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya qaid al-da'ash, ya sayyid al-juhala, ya man huwa lil-rasool, ashaddu al-a'da' wa jtara'a ala Allah wa talab al-wala' intadhir qiyama ahmad fa inna al-bay'at lillah. Wa kama taqra'una fi al-Qur'an قل اللهم مالك الملك تؤتي الملك من تشاء وتنزع الملك من تشاء وتعز من تشاء وتذل من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير وكما تلبون في الحج لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لك لا شريك لك اعملوا بهذه الآية وهذه التدبير عندها ستجدون أن التنصيب بيد الله وليس بيد الله فما لكم خير لبيك اللهم لبيك الملك لك لا شريك لك رغم أنوف الكافرين بملكك وحاكميتك في أول الزمان وفي آخر الزمان وسيعلم الكافرون بتنصيب الله ومن اتبعهم ويتبعهم أي منقلب ينقلبون والعاقبة للمتقين الذين لا يقبلون بتنصيب الله بدلا ولا يجعلون لله في ملكه شريكا وستكون هذه التلبية عارا على من يرددونها في الحج وهم لا يعملون بها 
ولا يعترفون بتنصيب الله وملكه وكأنهم أنعام لا يفقهون ما يقولون بل هم أضل سبيلا لأنهم خلقوا ليفقهوا ما يقولون لكنهم أزر بأنفسهم هذا أذان من الله ورسوله إلى الناس يوم الحج الأكبر أن الله بريء من المشركين ورسوله فإن تبتم فهو خير لكم وإن توليتم فاعلموا أنكم غير معجزي الله وبشر الذين كفروا بعذاب أليم